guys, what's going on? It's your boy Frost14 back again for another video. Today we have week four of the PMC Orange League and we're up against our good friend, Commissioner of the CPC, Shadow. He is a really nice dude and we had really big problems kind of scheduling this battle. I've been so, so busy with uni and assignments. It's just, oh, it's been so bad. So these teams, like, I built a pretty much a five minute team against Merc. Now another five minute team against Shadow, so oh, it's going to be a tough ask to go and win these games, but what can you do? Like, I'd rather do that than forfeit. Um, so we'll quickly check out the team. So what we got is we got a Grass MZ Latios for Tyranitar. We got Psychic Draco Media Thunderbolt Energy Ball. We got a Air Balloon. I prepped so hard for Excadrill and he didn't even bring it. Air Balloon. Um, Infernate with Close Combat, Stealth Rocks, Flare Blitz, Stone Edge. We've got a Physical Defensive Scizor to hit, um, take hits again from the Sands. We've got a Rocky Helmet, Defensive Vaporeon. We've got a Tailwind Taunt, Expert Belt, Tornadus. And a Special Defensive Florgeous. So he ended up bringing Tyranitar. He brought the other Sam on, which I'll... I didn't even prep for it, to be honest. I didn't think he was going to bring it, because extra draw I thought was so much better. Um, Suicune, which is obviously a pain in the ass, but we do have Vaporeon for that. Comfy, I was not expecting. Kirim, I bought the floor just for. And uh, Manitan, we have a few answers, such as uh, Vaporeon and Latios. So, we might get into that game. So, so, um... He leads off with Suicune. I lead off with Infernape, so um, I got the air balloon up just in case he wanted to lead off with. If he had an Excadrill, I was going to lead off with Infernape. And um, yeah, again, as I said, I had it for the sand, so Excadrill can't really touch me, and I could just kill it with the close combat. So obviously, this isn't the matchup we want. We can't really touch Suicune. Um, so we switch out into our Latios. He goes for a Scald, and he gets the burn, I'm pretty sure. Um, which doesn't matter that much. Um, so we do have Thunderbolt and Energy Ball. So we go we go for the Energy Ball because I thought the Tyranitar would come in. So that does about 40%. So here we're going to go for the Grass MZ. I thought it was a really good chance to KO it um, from this range. But he obviously has a lot of investment and he is able to take it with 2% and he can kill me with Crunch. So here, I'm pretty sure, who do I go into? I go into Vaporeon here, as I've got the Rocky Helmet, so I can just wish up and whatever, if he touches me, um, he's going to die. But he does go for the Earthquake, so now I can just Scald and I can get all my um, health back. But yeah, I just go for a Scald, so he switches into Stoutland, which was really risky. And we do burn him, which was really nice, um, unless he's running Facade. Um, now we're back to full health, and we are defensive Vaporeon, so we can take anything he wants to take. I protected just in case he had is bringing wild charge because I didn't want to take a wild charge and I can switch into something a scissor or something. Uh, but here I just I let him return because I know it's only going to do about thirty percent, which it does. And I'm rocky helmet here, so I just wish up. Now I can just kill him with scald and get my um, health back. He goes into comfy. Oh, actually, I went for the pre protect. That's right to get back to full HP because obviously he's burnt. Um, we are, we do get the wish and we are back to full health, so, um, Sand will run out this turn. We go into our Scizor, because, um, he goes through Calm Mind here. He switches out into the, obviously the Tyranitar, pretty much sacking it off. As, I'm pretty sure we go for a Bullet Punch, yet we wanted to, we didn't want to risk a Hidden Power fire, so we went for the Bullet Punch, the Tyranitar's down. So here, even though it's burnt, I was expecting a Fire Fang to come, so I went straight back into Vaporeon. Because I knew he probably wouldn't predict a Wild Charge and go in. So he goes to Fire Fang, obviously with the Rocky Helmet's not doing much. Here, I'll either Wish or Scald, I can't remember. Yeah, we go for the Wish, so Comfy comes back in. And... What do I do here? Oh yeah, we go into Infernape, so as he goes through Draining Kiss, um, obviously we lose our Balloon, but it doesn't matter at all, because he 
probably not carrying Earthquake on anything except for maybe Darmanitan. But the wish comes true, so we get full HP. He goes through another drain, he gets a crit, which kind of sucks. Um, we set up our rocks as Kirim takes a lot, and Stoutland will die when it comes in, and obviously Darm takes a lot as well. So we go into Mega Scizor here, he goes through another drain, and Kiss obviously does nothing. So I predict him switching out into maybe Suicune here, so I go for the U turn. As he stays in, he was obviously just sacking this off, it was a pretty weird play. Um, so we just U-turn, which is fine. So here we go into a floor just as, I just want to hit it as hard as I can with the Moon Blast. Um, so that's what we do, he goes through a Draining Kiss, I go for Moon Blast, it's doing about 40%, he's just sacking this off, um, which is fair enough. So we do another 40%, and he's going to go for another one. So we have nearly a full um, HP floor just. So here is the biggest misplay of the century. We go for a protect. I don't know why I did that. I don't know why. And he gets a belly drum up. And he is Salic Berry as well. Oh, and here I'm just like, crap. He's most likely going to be carrying Fire Punch so he doesn't take um, Recoil, which he is. So he's able to take out the floor just so here I have to sack my Tornadus and get up a Tailwind so we can outspeed this so I get up a Tailwind so at least we don't get swept by this um, which is good got my discord open I'll just close that oops and oh, we'll go back sorry 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 about that my discord is open now yeah, it's frozen of course there we go, yeah we go for a Tailwind and he Fire Punches, so I have to sack that, but now my Infernape does outspeed and I can take it out. So at least we don't get swept right here by the Darm. So here I was actually pretty confident I could win the match. Um, he goes into his Suicune. Um, as I go into my Vaporeon. So he goes back out into his Kirim. Um, so here, I'm just wishing up, he goes for a Z move, um, I think, I don't know why he went for it, maybe just using it up, and, yeah, he's just going to Ice Beam here, I keep roaring, um, because obviously I don't want the Suicune to set up or it just wins, but here, this, this is the stage where I thought, when Kurum goes down, how, how am I going to win, because I can't take, I can't roar out the Suicune and I can't touch it really at all, so I did misplay here, um, going to Suicune and that, but I, I couldn't win now, so um, See here, yeah, I Here I made a misplay, I should have just sword stance up here Because um, he couldn't have taken me out, so I could have sword stance and then bullet punch and then got damage off on the Suicune and then finish it off um, with See here I could have bullet punched and done about 20, 25 and then finished it off with my Infernate but he got the score crit, um, which I don't know if I would have lived. Um, who knows? Um, so here I have to go into my Inferno and hope I kill somehow with close combat. And it only does 30%, so now the Suicune um, takes me out. And now, obviously, I've got nothing to hit this. And if he is rest, um, then I lose. So we'll just see. He does calm mind up and he is rest. So. Uh, yeah, so here, there's no point doing the rest of the battle, he just stalls me out. Um, he actually has to go, so someone takes over. And yeah, he just wins the battle right here. So, um, that was GG to Shadow, he gets a 1-0 win. Um, I played that really, really bad late game. I kind of choked that away, but uh, yeah, credit to him. He, that um, Darm Anatan set, I never thought it would have came, and it got him back in the game, and then um, this obviously Crocoon set one in the game as well so yeah gg to shadow we take an l and uh, in this video we're also going to do my round five against bill because i did that ages ago and i don't think there's a real point um going through the team building now and yeah for this shadow i just i'm really strapped for time so i just um quickly gone through the battle and i'll do the same for bill so guys here's the second battle and we're up against bill standish another fellow aussie ripper guy um good bloke so hopefully we can pick up that w um 
So Bill had to, I can't remember the actual circumstances, but he had to do his matches early. So this match actually happened over a month ago now. So I literally have no idea whatsoever why I bought this team or what, but we're going to wing it. We'll go quickly into the team build to actually see what my team is. So we got a Granny MZ Latios. So I'm pretty sure that was for the Alolan Dougie. Because um, it actually was the MVP at this stage, a um, couple of weeks in, so it actually put in a lot of work. Um, so that was that set, pretty standard kind of stuff, but with the Earthquake tech. We've got a Choice Scar, um, Infernite with rocks to kind of throw him off. We've got Close Combat for the Mill Tank, Flare Blitz, and Grass Knot was for... I can't even remember, maybe the Stami. Um, and we're Iron Fist, so Close Combat is doing a lot to um, Mill Tank. So we've got a choice specs haunter as this can actually put in a lot of work. We've got enough out speed, enough speed to outspeed what we need. Um, pretty sure it outspeeds um, Toad Kiss. We got a max defense scissor again for the Doug Trio and stuff like Mill Tank and obviously Bullet Punch and U Turns doing a fair bit to the um, Roserade, but we are expecting it to carry Hidden Power Fire. Here we got a special defensive floor, just so any specially defensive Monzi wants to bring, as his team is more physically offensive, but we just bring that just in case so we can wall that. And we got a um, specially offensive Tornadus with Heatwave, Hurricane, Grass Knot, Sludge Bomb, and again enough out speed to outspeed what we need, and yeah. So sorry about that guys, I honestly can't remember half the stuff, but that's what happens when you play a battle a month ago. But I remember it was a pretty close game, but yeah. So I lead off with my Infernate, he leads off with his Roserade, so I thought this was going to be a pretty good matchup as, like, who, who would stay in um, with a Roserade on an Infernate? Ah, Bill would! Bill stays in and subs up on an Infernate! What is he doing? Why would you sub up on an Infernate? A good play. It worked. So here we're just going to go. I'm going to switch out here as I don't want my Infernape taking damage. And he has extra sensory and Haunter just gets bopped. So maybe that's why he subbed. So he can get in the extra sensory. But I could have just Flare Blitz first turn and killed it. But you know what? Predictions like that um, can win a game in the end. So um, good on your Bill. That was um, good from you. So here we're just gonna, I'm pretty sure bullet punch here, yeah we're gonna bullet punch just to get rid of that sub. And he's hidden power fire as well, so we live just. So here I'm pretty sure I either fire off a bullet punch or a U-turn. We go for another bullet punch, it only does 40%. And he just subs up again. Um, so I guess sub, substitute on his Rose Road work really well, so we're gonna bullet punch get rid of that sub again. And we're gonna die, so we had 2-0 down very very early, not looking good at all, so this game yeah, it's not looking good at all. So we're going to go into our Latios. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, the, the, I switched out first turn because I was Scarf Rock. So that's why I switched out. Um, stupid me. But yeah. Um, I'm going to go into my Latios now. And he's just going to sack off his Roserade. So Roserade's finally down. But it put massive holes in my team. Here we got the Alolan Dougie. So I... He's going to pursue me. Um, but I'm obviously, as we know, Ground EMZ. So I stay in. And we are able to bop that Alolan Doggy, so um, that is down. So we're back in the match now. Here he's going to go into his Dami. I go into my floor just because of, obviously it's specially defensive, so I can just take any hit he wants to throw at me. It's doing 20%, that's absolutely nothing. Even Psy Shock won't do much at all. So he switches out here into his Togekiss. I'm pretty sure I'll fire off a Wish or a Moonblast. I'll do a Moonblast, it's doing 30%. Um, so we want to see, he's a leftover set, he is Roost Togekiss, so um, we're going to fire off a Toxic just to whittle this thing down, as he goes through default to get rid of those rocks, which obviously um, for the Zard is really good, we're just going to keep hitting with that Moonblast, and now he goes into Mill Tank. it only does 40%, which leads me he's a very bulky Mill Tank, obviously with leftovers as well. He gets up his Stealth Rocks, um, which obviously hurt my Torn and my Infernape. And he is Milk Drink as well, which is kind of annoying. So he, and he's Heal Bell as well. 
Um, so we can't really do anything to this, so we switch out into the Latios. Which gets a seismic toss. See here, I'm pretty sure I just we get the wish up, which is good, so we get we can take a few seismic tosses. We're gonna do Star Shock, it does enough. We switch out here into our Infernate. He's gonna go for a seismic toss. So here he goes into Toki Kiss. And I get up my stealth rocks again. So this was the important part of the game. I had to choose between getting my stealth rocks up or trying to kill something. I thought I'd do that, um, obviously, because the Zard takes a lot. So he goes to the air slash here. It does 50%. Um, I think we fire off a sludge bomb here, if I'm pretty sure. Yep, we do. And he just lives, um, which sucked. So he is able to get that defog off again, which obviously hurts us immensely as the, the Zard can come in. We missed the Hurricane. This loses me the game. Hurricane would do 70 to 80% with my spread. He gets a free Dragon Dance. And now, it is pretty much over. So we are Choice Scarf Inferno. But... The close combat does not kill and obviously we go down to what did he use dragon claw and dragon claw so um we had a bit of an argument a friendly argument at the end of the game because i if hurricane hit it would have been in range for a close combat so zard didn't sweep but then bill said starmie and miltank just win well they don't because of my what I had left um, but yeah um, in the end Bill even though it was a little bit of a hack he did deserve the win in the end and we did this ages ago so I'm not going to um, be too salty about it um, and yeah Bill got the win of 3-0 so we cop at another L we got two L's in a row against Shadow and Bill so we're now 2-3 and three in the PMC after a massive iron beating Treb the week before we have lost two games well, not in a row because Bills is at the start, but um, yeah, just really, really disappointing. Um, hopefully, we can bounce back. Um, two losses in a video is pretty embarrassing, but you know, we got to upload everything, so um, it's always good to go through the losses and see what you did wrong. And obviously, there's multiple instances where I said I've either misplayed or something like that. So yeah, GG to Bill, and yeah, I think he's got a pretty good record, so he's probably going to playoffs and. Yeah, we just gotta because he did his games early, and we gotta just keep. We gotta win that next match. We can't be two and four. We have to be three and three. So massive game next week. Uh, I think we're up against Damon, maybe a good friend of ours. But yeah, I'll have to double check that. Thanks, guys, for listening. Hope you enjoyed watching these losses and for struggling and hurting and uh, oh well. There's always a new day, another battle, and we're going to pick up that W next game and get back into this league. GG, Bill. Thanks, guys. See you later.